There's no way I'm gonna let you bail out on everything you have going for yourself. Not for me. I'll do it, Frankie. I mean it. I'll do anything. I'll go anywhere. Canada, the moon. Yeah, well, they say the moon is cold this time of year. Please. Let me help you. Let's go somewhere. Let's run away. We could have a great life. And we will have a great life when I get back from Iraq. When? When is a big word. And I can't live with the if. Look, I have my orders, okay? That could get you killed. You've done so much for me. Made me safe. Given me a whole new life. Randy, you made this happen. You made it possible. Let me make you safe. Frankie, run away with me. Come on, Angela. Nobody's after Jesse. Well, it's probably just some kids, you know, a prank phone call or maybe just a wrong number. Oh, Ted, it happens too often. Sometimes a couple of hang-ups a day. Well, what does Jesse say about it? Pranks. Wrong number. All right, there you go. It's probably all it is. Or he's lying to protect me. And somebody wants to kill him. Again. We're not running away anywhere. Let me take care of you. I feel very well taken care of, okay? Look, I was in my own kind of war zone. You found me, patched me up, got me out. I'm not gonna sit by and do nothing. Just let you go off and get blown to bits, I'm sorry. Look, I plan on keeping all my bits and pieces together. Please, Frankie, let me make you safe. Let me help you. Let you me help. have helped me. When I got back from Iraq, I was... <sighs> I was lost. I didn't know how to deal with what I had seen, who I was turning into. Hell, I don't even know who that is anymore. I just wanted to forget, hide from my family, from my friends. And then I got sick and I couldn't hide anymore. And eventually life came in and took over. It all seemed normal. It was, it was all good. I was back with my mom, my sister, my dad, who I thought was dead. It was like alive. It was... And I had my family, my friends, my, my job at the hospital. But I felt like an imposter. Pretending to be some guy that I knew nothing about. I couldn't even remember who to be. Totally lost. But then I met you. And my mouth, my attitude, Strong, my problems. smart, beautiful, stubborn. And maybe just as lost as I am. What if, what if... Papel is pulling strings from behind bars. He did threaten Jesse. Baby. He wanted him dead. Angela, take a deep breath, sweetheart. Papel is in maximum security, okay? He's in lockdown. There is no way he could possibly be behind this. All right. All right. I, I guess... I guess that's true. So, thank you for talking me down. Does that mean you're buying it? Well, only if you can help me figure out how to stop driving my family away. Ooh, that does sound like a trick question. Ted, I was living my dream. Jesse back from the dead, Frankie back from Iraq, Cassandra well. All of us together, I, I sh should have been happy. You're right, you should be happy. Honey, you should be overjoyed. Look, the kids will be back soon, before you know it. And in the meantime, you've got Jesse. You got Jesse back, a man who's wild about you. Do I have Jesse back? Because sometimes I'm starting to feel like I'm losing him again. I'm just now living again. Before I met you, I was on autopilot. Brother, doctor, son, just going through the motions. I'm living again, not just breathing. I'm grounded because of you. I'm stronger because of you. 
I reached out for you. And you let me in. There are times that Jesse just isn't there. And I know I'm not imagining it. Well, you're right, you're not. I know better than anybody, honey. It's just, he's got a light on his mind, you know? It's just the way he is. It's who he is. Sometimes you see him, sometimes you don't. Yeah. You know, he just... He just... drifted. City to city, job to job. He did his best to survive and always an eye over his shoulder. Packing up bags, moving on. But it broke him. He had a nervous breakdown. But he never said anything to me about it. But he got help and he, and he fought it. But the idea of my strong, so sure of himself, Jesse, alone like that and vulnerable. Tad, we almost did lose him for good. Dude, sorry I'm late. Told you I'd be back. I tried calling you. Where were you? Uh, I can't tell you. I went to see Randy. Really? I thought Randy would be the one reason you would want Frankie to be overseas, you know? Put a whole ocean between him and that girl. Well, I might have been wrong about her. Because she's as concerned as I am. Although I'm not sure that she can convince him to try to stay. Frankie will survive this. Just like he did first time around. You weren't here. I'll be here this time. Um, listen. You left your phone behind. You took off. Yeah, someone called. Another hang-up. Baby, I told you, it's probably just kids pranking. Thank you. I really need you to stay away from my phone. I made it through my first tour, and I'll make it through this one. I have a commitment. I have to honor it. Honor? Do you have so much damn honor? What about your family, your friends, your life here? Honor that. And you know what, Frankie, if not, then honor us. Wow. You sound just like my mom. You know that, right? <laughs> That's not even funny. Don't let her hear you say that. And don't joke around with me. You're all about making decisions, Doc. This should be an easy one. If you think I haven't thought about this, I have. A whole lot. And this isn't just about me. There's soldiers over there who need me and what I can do. Why do you have to be so damn good? It hurts. But wherever I am, here or Iraq, you and I will never be lost again. Never. You're really gonna go, aren't you? Not yet. I will come back to you. I promise. It's only a promise if you keep it. There's nothing in this world that can keep me from keeping my promise from you. Like you told me to oh, I called your name I should 